our roles have kind of like disappeared and we've entered a new kind of zone of, you know, we just do what we can to try and support this pandemic. All the, t the teams in the hospital have been broken down to sort of bare bones. I was redeployed to a and &E. It was a completely new environment. The structure was completely different. It's been very challenging mentally, physically, emotionally. When we were redeployed, it was really shocking. It, a lot of us was filled with anxiety. My frustration is for my client because they are elderly people. And you just try to comfort them, but they can't see their families as well. So um, it's really upsetting, really, really worrying for them. I am not just a key worker, but I'm also a wife and a mother. I decided to move out and shield myself from my parents. I can't see them, especially now as I'm travelling all around, it would just be dangerous. And I think me working in the hospitals, everyone's thinking, oh, he's going to get it and don't come round my house and your own family members are starting to distance from you. <laughs> I'm missing the touch. Me cuddling my daughter and kissing my daughter, it's such a hard change for me. My mum, she's by herself, which is the most concerning. I feel that I'm losing my connection to my family. installed it in my mum's home. It's made my day. We'll have a quick conversation before I get up and go to work. It gives me that peace of mind that knowing that my family is safe. When they're watching TV as well, it was almost like I was with them. They can see what I'm doing, what I'm up to, and know I'm home safe. I realised that I could be playful using the app. I'll suddenly press the dog barking button, the sound, and then that would start the others. And they're like, oh, we're home already. <laughs> we can call you now. <laughs> I could do much more than, you know, securing my home. It's connecting to my loved ones. I'll look forward to when I can actually see them in person, though. <laughs> it's never quite the same.